What is this? Mm -hmm. I just got in here and started sleeping. What? Are you hitting me? Seriously? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we're starting a new mod series today. This is the mod pack Valhelsia. I think I said that right. And uh, I just created this world like 10 seconds ago or so. And uh, it's going to be kind of fun. The last series I did for modded was the Qtex series. And I wanted to do this one. I think this looks kind of fun. This is a 116.5 pack. So it should run really well. And it should be great. I'm hoping that this will be a fun series to do. I'm going to do this a little bit differently though, guys. The last one I did, I tried to do unedited uh, segments. I'm going to use a lot of editing in this series. Because I think there's a lot more we have to do. Okay. So uh, let's get started. As you can see, I'm in like a... Like a nice, beautiful area. This does have biomes of plenty in it. And I'm going to start uh, working with some stuff here. It's kind of cool. I'm going to have to find a place. Ooh, neat sounds. I got to find a place to live. I got to get some stuff started. I'd like to gather some just general resources and things. But I, I don't know what we're going to need or what we can do here. Um, there are a bunch of advancements you can get with various things here. I do see astral sorceries in this pack and some other things. There's also create. So we have a lot of stuff we we have here. Uh, let's look at the map and see what we can see. Oh, there's a village right over there. That's probably where we should go first. Um, I'm trying to see maybe this over here. This hill could be an area we could put. I like to get out of the swamp, but this is kind of cool. Let's head over to that village. It looks like it was this way. Look at this squid over here. There's a regular squid. But what is this purple one? And a brown one, it looks like. Now well, I got a little bit of lag here. Is it crashing? No, it's not crashing. But look, there's a brown squid. What kind of... It's just a squid. It's got a colored squid. That is so cool. I really like that. Let's look in here, see what we can find. Oh, a brewing stand. Let's see, can we take that? No. Well, messed that up already, huh? Okay. Uh, is there anything up here? I don't know what these villages spawn. There's nothing here, but I hear some tinkering sounds. That sounds so cool. Let's go keep looking around here. Hopefully there's some things that we can get and make use of. There's some cats. Probably a bed would be good to have with us. That'll be nice. Let me put that up in the inventory here. So it's not in my hot bar. It's kind of big when you're carrying it around. Oh, now these are really cool. This is from Immersive Engineering. And it has a lot of parts here. But the thing I like about this is it does uh, count kind of like a shulker box in many ways. That's steel, steel rods. Okay. So even though I have that there, uh, if I had an axe, we should really get an axe. Now that I've made an axe, let's grab this. Like I said, it counts like a shulker box, which is really cool. Let's go in here. There's another one. This is awesome. So let's try to... I try to put these things together so we can keep up more space in here. But that's pretty cool. We have some lead nuggets. And a tough fabric. Okay. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to take your stuff. Sorry. But it's mine now. Okay. Yeah. I know. You don't mind, right? Right? It's okay. Awesome. Let's go on upstairs here. Is there anything up here? There's a lamp. We'll take that. I need a pickaxe for it. But I should be able to break, right? Good, we got a lantern. That's awesome. Let's keep on looking around here. We might uh, make this area our area for like starting out home. Uh, do I have any potatoes? There's a potato. I grab a potato. I'm trying to grab each of the resources. So I've got some wheat. I've got beetroot. I have uh, carrots and, of course, now potatoes. So that's pretty cool. Let's keep looking around. Found another brew stand. Hopefully this will work with a pickaxe. And that time it did. So we've got a brew stand. That's awesome. What is in this oak chest? Uh, we have honey bread, some candles, and some flowers. That is a honey apple. That's awful nice, too. Candles, more beeswax, and things. This is like a honey shop. I'm going to take this uh, chest, too. There's like, I'm going to say a honey shop. It's a, But it's a guy here who makes candles and things. And this looks really cool. I like how they're just lit candles you can put out on your, um, like, little decorative things that you want to do. I'm going to take those, though. And I'm going to take the honey pot, just because I don't know if it's useful. So thank you, buddy. Looks like I found another one of these crates, and I'm getting uh, kind of full on inventory. So I'm going to make sure I put all these pieces together so that they're nice and easy to work with. I'm going to start putting things in here, though, that I've found. A lot of this stuff we don't need, and that way it gives us some space. There we go. And I'm going to grab this. But it also looks like I found this, and I don't know quite what this is. I've never really worked with this. But in immersive engineering, this is the engineer's crafting table, and that could be very useful. So we're getting that. That's pretty cool. Now, is there like another lamp upstairs or a lantern? Yep. Okay, we'll get that too. 
I think I've grabbed pretty much everything that I can from here that I find useful. So we're going to start to look around for a place to set up a camp or a base. Okay, I'm looking over here. This biome here, I just want to check this out because it looks really cool with the almost like an amplified terrain, but with some things up there. I want to go and check this out. Well, look at this. Look at this. This is a crow on some lily pads. So I don't know if it's like stuck here or what, but that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get, can I get on this one. Yeah. Wow. That looks really cool, a crow. This is starting to look kind of gorgeous. It might be where we set up our first base. Um, it's looking kind of nice already. I just want to see what, you know, it kind of looks, looks like a little beach. What is that? What is that? It is a capuchin monkey. Um, are they a problem? Do they cause any issues? What's this? Morado log? Flowering Morado leaves? Oh, this is really cool. And I like the color of this water. This is kind of a cool area. It's very neat. And the wood is kind of unique. It's different than like regular vanilla stuff. Oh, and look at that. That looks so cool. I'm really, really liking the way the terrain generation is here. This could be our little grotto. We have little cave systems up there. We could have like have some base things and things. This I think could be could be it, guys. Just because I think it'll be fun to try to work with this little uh, lagoon here. We're gonna have a little lagoon, I think. I think this will work out really well. So I'm gonna um, start to make a little bit of an area. Maybe I'll put it right in here or something. But I want to make an area. Oh, look at the waterfall. Listen, listen to the waterfall. That's just amazing. Okay. Yeah, I like this area. We're, this is very, very pretty. We're going to make this our area. And hopefully I can do it justice with my lack of build skills. Let me get a small camp made. All right, guys. It's been over a week since I recorded that last clip. Yep, over a week. And that is because I got really sick. And I have since had a COVID test. And I am positive for COVID. Yes, I'm in quarantine now. And uh, I'm just... I'm past being sick. I'm, you might tell my voice that I've got a little bit of stuff up, but past all the fever and all the, 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 the hard stuff of COVID, now I'm just in recovery, and uh, I am very tired, so I'm trying to do what I can, but uh, it's very slow going. So anyway, let's show you what I did get to get done here. Yeah, I made like a little box. This is the house that I made, and it's, uh, it's kind of cool. I do have a door, which I always leave open for some reason. It's a rosewood door. I like the door. But uh, going in here, you can kind of see we have just a little bit of an area. Um, I set up the crafting tables here with the uh, stone cutter. On this side, I put those engineering uh, crates that they had that I showed that were like shulker boxes, and I put some of the items in there. So there we have those. And I made some furnaces over here, and then I put just some basic storage here along this wall. So we have some things like most of the wood products are here. And that sort of thing. And I used all the candles to light it all up. And uh, have a little skylight. So it's very cozy, very small. Uh, but it's a good setup and a good start, I think. What do you guys think? Think you like it? Is it good for me? Hopefully. Uh, what I'd like to do, I heard just a little groan. I'd like to go and start doing some mining. I'm going to get some tools and I'm going to start some mining. Because right next door here, right here, is a cave. And... You can hear the sounds of stuff. And there's definitely some resources here. And some pits. And some uh, zombies. And a baby skeletons. You can see them down there. So uh, perhaps we should uh, get some stuff outfitted. And try to secure this with some torches. Uh, SMDs as Thomas would say. Try to get everything kind of sorted here. And get some resources before we really start working on some base builds. Okay. So there we go. I think I found a spawner room here. We're going to go in and see... Is there anything here? And, oh, there is. Skeleton. So, oh, golly. That's bad. No, 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 no. Oh, I died. Just finished beating all of the skeletons that were here and this is a skeleton spawner which we have which is awesome you can see i've kind of torched up trying to get here i haven't looked in these chests though let's see what we got uh what is that a supply camp chest 
I'm not sure what, I haven't used mine colonies. I'll have to take a look at this and research what this is. But we got some gunpowder and some seeds. Let's grab everything here. Take all that with us. What do we get over here? A black lotus. That's pretty good. Some redstone. That'll help us out starting out. Some string is kind of important. Got a lot of bones, too, and some bread and some food. So that's not bad. Not a bad start for some getting some things. I need to take this all back because uh, my inventory probably is getting full already. And you can see I've already gotten some iron and some tin. So we've got some of the resources we can start out with to make some better tools and things. Let me put a torch down here. There. <laughs> Always scares me when I see things like this. There's might be something spawning. Oh, there's some uh, uranium or uranite. Takes a pickaxe. We should be able to get it. Can we get that? Hey, that's cool. See, this is what I do. I just kind of like go around and look around for things. I see the uranite there. Some water pouring. Hmm. A lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to go back and get some of that iron smelted down so we have a, a little bit better tools, you know? So I've done some research, and this supply camp for the mine colonies is actually like a little uh, base that you can make. And I want to put it someplace, but I don't like the idea of having it inside of my little... Uh, Lagoon here. I'm thinking of putting on the other side of this uh, hill out here. Uh, this way we can like make a tunnel to get to it if we want to. I'm not sure uh, what resources it has, but it takes up quite a bit of space. So I'm trying to think if maybe we could put it out here in a way so it's like kind of like out in this area. I don't know if it can work and put place onto uh, water. But I'd rather do that. Let's see if I right click it. Does it do anything here? Oh, what the heck? Okay. And uh, I'm lagging. I can't seem to move or do anything. Um, okay, we can do that. But I can't seem to rotate my view at all. Um, I don't know how to see what's going on. Um, and, and, of course, it's getting dark. Let's see. Let's do this right. Let's do this right here. Let's try get rid of that and put it right there. Can I do that? Okay. That's a camp. Uh, go for it. Place plot camp requires flat, solid ground. Those blocks must be solid. So you won't let you do that. Okay, so that makes sense. Let me go back and uh, <laughs> go sleep. And then let's find a place for this camp. I have been trying and trying and trying to find a good spot for the supply camp. And I just haven't found it. So I'm going to put this away. Um, I'll try to find a spot or make a spot for that a little bit later. I'm not really interested in it that much. I just thought it might have some resources that I would need. But uh, I'll do that a little bit later. Maybe I can do it off camera sometime and find that. So... Uh, what is the plan then for the rest of this video? Well, what I would like to do is, of course, get more resources and keep on mining and getting that sort of thing. But I would like to get the various uh, machines from immersive engineering. I should say machines. The the uh, various uh, places where you'd like the Coke oven and the blast furnace and those things that you have. Those are nice little tools. And so I'm going to start to go and gather that up now. So, for instance, to get the creosote oil, we... Definitely will need that for doing anything immersive engineering, and you have to get a Coke oven. So if we look at the Coke oven, let's go look at that real quick here. Yeah, I believe it takes 27 of these Coke bricks, and if you can see, it's just clay and a lot of clay and some scorched sand or sandstone. So we're going to have to get a lot of clay. So that's what I think is one resource I'm going to have to get, and of course, I'm going to need a shovel for that. And we're going to have to go someplace to get that. So let me uh, start that process. Looks like there's a lot of clay underwater here. One trick you can do, though, is you can put a door down, and then you have a block where you can breathe in here. And also what that means is that then you can mine faster. And that's a really cool trick for working with underwater mining. So give that a shot. We're going to gather some more of this clay up. We're going to go ahead and get that Coke oven, I think, built. Let me see if I can get enough resources for that. Okay, we're going to make these Coke bricks, and it takes 27 of these. So we have to make this up, and as you can see here, we do have to make some sandstone. Should be able to make sandstone just like that, and we probably only need nine of these, so we'll do that. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, and we have nine of each of those, so we have 27 Coke brick. Okay, so now we also need to make, to make this device, we need to get a hammer. We need specifically to get this hammer right here, which is two sticks, two iron, and some string. So we have some iron, and we need to make some sticks, and we have some string. So let's make up those sticks really quick. There we go. Make the hammer. Oh, uh, they got to be treated sticks? Really? Oh, I didn't make the sticks. I was like, wait a minute. 
Wait, why are we not making sticks? Why is it not making sticks that way? What is going on here? Why can't I make... There's sticks right there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so one of those days, guys, when you're just sick, just, you don't see things, things don't go on right, but we got a hammer, and that is really good. Now, I want to build this uh, probably over here. I want to make this area be over where I want to make this uh, particular thing. So I'm going to hollow out a little area here. And now that I have hollowed this out, I'm going to put this down. This is the basic structure, how you make this coke oven. We're going to do that pretty quick here. Basically, it's a uh, three by three cube. And then you hit it with a hammer. And there we are. We have our coke oven and that's excellent. Now, what you do in here is you put in some coal. So let me grab some of this. You put it in here and it burns. It's going to make coal coke. It's going to make creosote, which we can then use to make treated planks and things that we need for immersive engineering. Excellent. This is the first piece of the puzzle that I want to do. Um, I think we're going to work on the next piece in just a second. I've got to do a little bit of research, though, before I uh, talk about that. The next piece of uh, the puzzle that I want, I want to make the alloy kiln. And you need the kiln bricks for this. And we need a total of, I believe, eight of these. So can we make that right now? No, we don't have enough sandstone. Let's see if we can do this. Is that going to be enough? Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit more sand. So I gotta get some more sand to make some sandstone, unless I have some here, and I don't. So let me go get some sand to make sandstone. Just got back from getting some more sand. Let's uh, do this and let's get. I think we need. Do I have enough? I don't even know if we have enough. Yeah, we need eight. That's what we needed right there. Okay, so we should be good there. And I'm gonna put this right beside the coke oven. I'm gonna put it in here. So let's put that. Okay, and again, we hit it with the hammer. Come on, it's just the eight, right? Did I not make it correctly? I thought it was the kiln brick. I thought it was just that that's all you needed. There it went. Wow, that was laggy. Why would it? Now, hold on. I want to be facing outward. That's interesting. It won't let it go. I hit this top brick. Why is it doing that? I want to be here, there, okay. So this is the alloy kiln. And the idea here is you take two minerals or metals and you can combine them. Like say, for instance, gold and silver typically makes electrum. It's getting dark, I'm going to sleep. We're gonna make the last piece of this puzzle hopefully for this video. The last little bit that I wanna make is I wanna make the blast oven, which is used to make steel. And I think that's kind of critical for a lot that I want to do. And to make this, we're gonna to have to do a few things. We have to get 27 of these uh, blast bricks. And if you look, it takes nether brick and it takes magma blocks. Now we need to get these and there are a couple of different ways to go about getting this. The most common way would be to go to the nether, but I don't really think I'm ready to go to the nether. So instead, I think I'm going to go try to find some of the new features that they have in 116.5, which is they have like portals that are out in the world. Now I've checked the map here and I don't see any, uh, portals yet, but they are out in the world. And with this map, I should be able to see them pretty easily. Uh, so I think I'm going to go a little bit of a little bit of exploration and just see what I can find. I might head off in this direction. Hopefully, we can find uh, what we want. Okay, so I'm going to grab some food and uh, going to start exploring. I've come across one of these ruined portals, and you can see here it does have magma blocks. It also has nether rack, so that is going to be very useful. But there's a chest here. Let's open this chest up and see what's in here. Oh, we got a golden helmet of air affinity. I wonder what that does. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Curse of Biting on the Boots, a golden axe, some iron nuggets. That's pretty cool. We're going to grab all of this right here. There we go. And I'm going to grab all of these resources. We're going to mine up all of this nether rack. We're going to mine up all the magma blocks. And we're going to take that all back to base. I probably can't mine, you know, I don't have the right kind of pick to get the iron, but I can get that gold block for sure and some of these other things. So. I'm going to get all of this resources and bring it on back so we can make the uh, blast oven. What is this? Mm -hmm. I just got in here and started sleeping. What? Are you hitting me? Seriously? What is going on here? He trades some stuff for materials. Zombie villager spawn egg. Ooh. I don't have any emeralds. I can't get any of this stuff. But this dude, he just hit me. Little dude, what are you doing? Are you going to try to hit me again? You better not. 
Um, get out of my house. Dude, get out of my house. He's not getting out of my house, guys. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, but we're going to move on. I am back from my excursion, and I do have a lot of the uh, nether rack. So I'm going to cook up this nether rack. Uh, let's put some of it here, and let's put some of it in here. And we should have enough stuff in a little bit to, uh, yeah, make this whole uh, blast oven. And that's what I need to finish this little spot here. And then we will have the three major uh, furnaces or ovens, if you will, for uh, some of the immersive engineering. This is what I wanted to get through in this first episode. While waiting for the nether brick, I thought I'd come out here to my uh, coke oven. And you can see I do have some cold coke already. But if I put a bucket here, it will then fill up with creosote oil. And then you can take this. And you go into your little old crafting grid and you should be able to just take this right here and you get treated wood planks. And that's what the creosote is very good for. So this is then used for lots of things and builds in immersive engineering. So that's why we wanted to get this process kind of started because this actually takes a lot of time just to get this resource. So and of course steel will take even longer, which is the reason why I wanted to start up uh, sooner than later. There we go. OK, we're still waiting on this, but uh, we're getting there. Okay, I think I've got everything here. It looks about right, so we're going to see if we can do this. We need to get 27 of these bricks. We have that now, 27 blast bricks. And now we're going to, again, build the 3x3 three three cube right here. And this should then give us the blast oven, which allows us to make steel. And that is uh, something that I wanted to get. Okay, let's try the engineer's hammer on it. And there it is. We got the achievement, a really hot topic. And so in this here, you take your coal, coke, and your some iron. Let's grab the coal, coke. Let's grab some iron just to make sure that this still works the way I think it does. Let's grab three pieces of iron. Um, and if we go over here, put the iron in there and the coal, coke there. And you can see it's working and it should be making steel. So we have already in episode one here, guys, we have the ability to make steel. Now this is, again, this is making coal, coke is making from coal, making coal, coke, and creosote. We also have the ability to make some of the alloys if we need to, and then we're making steel. And that's going to be very important for all the stuff we want to make at a later date. This has been fantastic, guys. What do you guys think? I think it's good for a good uh, first start, especially when I have COVID, the dreaded Rona. Yes, I have COVID, and uh, so it's been taking me a little more time to get this video out. So hopefully uh, you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.